All of my life I didn't learn your word But how to disguise I try to look good In other people's eyes But you still kept me Because of your love I'm running back to you Because of your grace I want to say thank you Lord you're so faithful And I'm so grateful That you never gave up on me When I avoided your plan Gave up and ran Psalms, in spite of our afflictions, He'll deliver us from them all. My trust still lies in You. I know You're gonna bring me through through this trial, but I'm not ending now. I know it's gonna get hard sometimes, and when those moments come. Amen. We're going to go ahead and get started because um, we got a lot to cover <laughs> and and who is here is meant to be here. And, you know, whoever else is coming, they'll catch up. Um, and I also want to honor everybody's time. So, Lord, we just thank you for 
tonight. We thank you for allowing us to see Tuesday night. We thank you for blessing us this month, this month of May and everything that you've been teaching us about grace. And Lord, as we um, as we continue now to, to study your word and um, we're reaching deeper for more, <laughs> we want more, Lord. Uh, we are hungry for you and we want to expand. We want to grow. We want increase in our knowledge and wisdom. And tonight as we're praying uh, over the gifts that you've given us, as we're praying over the families you've assigned to us, Lord, we just thank you for this amazing Tuesday night. So Lord, we just bless you. We honor you and we praise you. So before I, um, actually, let me go ahead and start sharing so y'all can see. Hello, ladies. <laughs> before I start um, going too deep, too far, I wanted to just share a scripture I was I was uh, reading before. And I just need somebody, just let me know you can see my screen. It says Tuesday or gift giver. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma awesome. I want to share this with y'all because I was in Daniel. This is chapter two. and. Um, I'm just going to release this. Uh, this is Jan Daniel chapter two, verse, uh, looks like verse 20 and 20 to 23. And Daniel answered. So this is when um, uh, God was revealing Nebuchadnezzar's dream. And um, it, God was revealing this mystery to Daniel in a vision at night. <laughs> okay. Sometimes there's day vision, but it was a vision at night. It, and it says that Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. But the, the, the uh, verse 20 says, Daniel answered and said, uh, blessed be the name of God forever and, and ever to whom belong wisdom and might, right? So we know that again, wisdom and might belongs to God. He changes times and seasons. He removes kings and sets up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to those who have understanding. So you get knowledge when you have understanding. There's a protocol. He reveals deep and hidden things. He knows what is in the darkness and the light that dwells with him. To you, O God of my fathers, I give thanks and praise for you have given me wisdom and might and have now made known to me what we asked of you. For you have made known to us the king's matter. The king's matter in this case, what we're what we're reaching into tonight is not Nebuchadnezzar's matter. We talk about the king's matter. Now we're talking about the kingdom matter, the things that are as God is, uh, as, as Jesus is our king, the Lord of Lord. We're asking him when you ask for the Holy Spirit to reveal your gifts to you through his grace, you're, what you're actually doing is you're asking him also to give you wisdom and knowledge and understanding so that he can reveal the deep and hidden things. Because you have to understand some of those things so that you know how to activate your gift. So um, so I thought that was, uh, you know, that was just a verse that, or the verses that was, you know, when those lay your Bible open and it came open. So I'm going to lean in on Lean in on that because it means something, right? So tonight we're we're talking, we're continuing our prayers around gifts. And we just, as we always do, we always, always give God thanks. We always start out with just a heart of being thankful. So just a minute of thanks. Or we just thank you, Lord, for allowing us to even come before your throne. I thank you for the word thank that you have tonight. You've been so good to us. You've sustained us, Lord God. The truth is, Lord, we, you know, we, we might not have everything that we stand in need of in this moment, but we thank you because we know that the answer is coming. We thank you because we know that the blessing is coming. Thank you because we know that deliverance is coming. We thank you, Lord God, because we know that you are still in control. Thank you, Lord God, because we, we trust you and we believe you. We thank you that you're an everlasting God. I thank you for even the word that you've already shared with us to remind us that wisdom and might and understanding and knowledge, it all comes from you. And so even though as we're seeking out, Lord God, seeking you out, Holy Spirit, through the word, I thank you for reminding us our source and where everything that we stand in need of, that where it comes from, all comes from you. So we thank you, Lord, for revealing that to us and reminding us and even allowing us to come before your holy throne so that we can you know, ask you, Abba, because of what the Lord Jesus Christ has done, that has given us access. We ask for wisdom and might, knowledge and understanding. Give us an give us the kind of access to deeper things so that we'll know how to respond to life challenges. We'll know the right prayers. 
We'll know how to intervene for our families. Mm -hmm. We'll know what the path is. We'll, we'll have Thank a you for sure. God. Thank you for our spouses, God. Thank you for our families. We'll understand when your hand is We'll understand what is when it's a yes and a no. Lord, give us the wisdom and might. Give us strength, Lord God, for those who are exhausted emotionally, physically. Lord God, we thank you for the wisdom, the wisdom, the kind of wisdom that can only come from you. The wisdom that help us to see ahead of, of what's coming, Lord God. The wisdom that 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 we need to understand your word. The wisdom so that we know when it is you speaking, Lord God, so that we won't make any errors. So I thank you, Lord God, that you have reminded us already in your word that it's you that reveals the deep and hidden things. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for reminding us that that is you. And we are so grateful for your presence, Holy Spirit. We, as we, as we, as we move deeper into prayer, we are grateful that you are already here and, and that you are speaking to our hearts. So we submit our hearts to you, Lord, that, that, that we're in a, a posture of, of obedience, that we're in a position that we are listening. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. Let's go into confession. Almighty God, we acknowledge and confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. We have not loved you with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. We have not loved you with all our heart, soul, mind, and strength. We have not loved our neighbor or ourselves. And the good we have left undone. Lord, you are full of compassion. The wrong we have done and the good we have left undone. Lord, you are full of compassion and gracious. Lord, anger and plenteous and mercy. You have always forgiveness with you. Find of that which is broken and give life to our minds. Strength to our wills and rest to our of that which is broken. Give light to our minds. Strength to our wills and rest our souls. Speak to each of us. And let your word abide within us you, until it has wrapped in us your holy will. Amen. 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 You see, you cannot come before the Lord. <laughs> oh, God. You can't come before the Lord asking, just, just arms out, just, just asking. I, I, it's like he's like... You got dirty tongues, like even the things that we've said, even even in the things we've said in our in our minds and not revealed through our mouth, our thoughts corrupted. Right. We, we confess that we and we thank you, Lord, that you receive our confession, that there is no condemnation in Christ. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank we confess, Lord thank God, you, that God. you have received, you have forgiven us. So there is no condemnation in Christ. I thank you, Lord, as we are your heart and coming to you, Lord God, with contrite hearts and spirit, Lord God, as we're laying it all before you. Father, we are sinful, oh God, and we thank you that you have forgiven us for every error that we have made, the things that we have done, the things that we didn't even know we've done, the things that we have done today. Maybe we've done something to our friends, our neighbors, our family members. We've sinned against you, Lord God, and for that we we confess, Lord God, and we thank you that you have received any anything that the enemy has against us legally, spiritually, that we have done, any contracts or conversations, any portals that we have opened, that anything that was against your will, anything that was against what you say about us or God we cancel it right now father you have received us onto yourself and so anything that the enemy is declaring against us the, the enemy has a book on us right and we don't believe in what the enemy says about us that's why it's so important for us to know what the Holy Spirit says about us oh God I thank you so Lord everything that heaven declares about us we are in alignment with that we give ourselves over to you Lord Jesus as our high priest and we thank you Lord for your forgiveness. We thank you for wiping the slate clean, for forgiving us, Lord, that there is no condemnation. Man might condemn you, but God won't. I thank you, Lord, because it is your love. It's because of the sacrifice, Lord God. As, and as we come to you with our hearts, Lord God, asking for your forgiveness and you have received that. You have canceled everything that the enemy has said, Lord God. Generations back, you have set that on fire. Any plan that the enemy had to hold things over our, our head to keep reminding us of mistakes that we have already confess and you've forgiven us for any lie that the enemy is telling us in our minds and even in our hearts any lies that the enemy is has telling us to believe that's different and separate from what heaven says about us father we cast them into the fire right now every plan the enemy had laid out lord god with the very words that we have spoken if we have condemned others with our tongues or god through gossip or lies or envy or jealousy or anything on our hearts father god i ask that you will purify us lord god and burn 
cordon off everything that is not meant for us. Lord God, I ask that you'll throw a veil over this tent of prayer tonight, this being your altar, Lord God. And as we enter into your, into your presence, Lord God, we enter into your holy tent with Jesus as our high priest. So Father, as we come before you now in this tent, in this tent tonight, Lord God, let this be a holy place. Let this be a blessed place. Holy Spirit, this is your night and we ask you to come full force through like a wind, Lord God. We ask that you're going to take over this call and reveal to us the things that we are asking for can only come from you. So Lord, I ask that you will touch every heart, Lord God, as we go deeper into prayer and you reveal the areas that we need to work on so we can fully receive the gifts of heaven, the gifts of grace, the gifts of God, the gifts of the Holy Spirit. We stand in agreement with what you say. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. So because we're talking about gifts and grace, we have to start mm -hmm. off with these two verses. We have to, we have to, we have to, we have mm -hmm. to, we have to. Lord, Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly mm -hmm. Spirit. We have to, we have to, we have to. This isn't something that we get on our own. This is something that the Holy Spirit gives to us. But in order for you to receive it, you, <laughs> Jesus, but in order for you to even receive it, you've got to honor him and recognize where these gifts come from. Amen. So Isaiah 11, I'm just going to release these two. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom and understand, oh God, I just saw you did, amen, wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, thank you, Lord, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of God, oh my gosh, so this is just a, this is just a continuation of what I was just reading right before, I listen, y'all, I don't go back in notes and do a whole, I just, I just grab the scripture and just keep it moving, but this takes us right back. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for what you showed us in Daniel when you were talking to us about the about wisdom belonging to God and that it's wisdom, the wisdom to the wise and the knowledge of those who have understanding. It, it is God that reveals the deep and hidden things. And so, Holy Spirit, I just ask now that you will just usher us. Again, we are in this tent. We are seated in heavenly places. This is holy ground. We thank you, Lord God, that you have already shaken some things up in this prayer, Lord God, that you're already moving things in our heart, Lord God. So we're receiving now. We're receiving now everything that you you have said to us before that we might have missed it. Bring it back to our remembrance what the Lord Jesus Christ said about us. Holy Spirit, thank you, Lord, that you are resting upon us with the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel. I thank you, Lord, for the spirit of might. I thank you for the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord that now rests upon every single person under the sound of my voice. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for your terrific and amazing presence, for what you're doing. John 14, 26 says, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the father will send in my name. He will teach you all things and uh, bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. So Holy Spirit, as we go even deeper into prayer, I ask now you, you who were sent, you who were sent by the father, you Holy Spirit, my friend, you Holy Spirit, my teacher, you Holy Spirit, my counselor, it is you that you will bring to our remembrance everything that was said to us when we were created. We were we were created. I thank you for everything that you spoke over our lives, everything that you said about us in the garden when it was completed, everything that you, everything, everything that you, you put in us, all the seeds, all the gifts, all the talents, everything that you, you placed in us, Lord God. I thank you, everything that you dropped into our spirit, that you will bring it back to remembrance, Lord God. I thank you that you are the helper. I thank you, Holy Spirit, this can only be done by you. You are my only hope. It is only you. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for what you're going to do for these ladies, for men and women under the sound of my voice who are looking to go deeper. So Holy Spirit, we receive you now. Father, I just want to, I just want to receive you unto myself. Holy Spirit, I thank you for already showing up. I thank you for reinforcing and reminding us 
that we that we have this we have the spirit of wisdom we receive this wisdom understanding counsel and might knowledge and fear of the lord and for those of y'all who are seeking again you want to understand the gifts you want to build a stronger better relationship with the holy spirit start by receiving the spirits of these are spirits amen the same way that the same way that fear and doubt is a spirit right so wisdom and understanding is a spirit so father i even pray that in the same way that your word says goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life those are spirits in the same way that is happening based on what your word says and i call that back to you heaven lord i ask that you will re you release the spirit of wisdom and understanding and counsel and might and knowledge and fear and respect of the lord i ask that you will release that now for every person under the sound of my voice and in the same way that goodness and mercy is following them all the days of their life i pray that the spirit of wisdom and understanding counsel and might knowledge and the fear of the lord will follow them every single place they go there won't be another wrong decision because there will be an alignment with what heaven says they will have understanding and deep knowledge they will seek you out in your word and they will find you oh i thank you holy spirit for what you have already done it is you that will teach us all of these things and that you bring remembrance back to us lord god let there never be a day that we forget Get what your word says about us so that we can we can fight lord god in this land where we live so we can carry out these assignments that you have given us and for those who you've given assignments maybe they've forgotten what your word says about them i ask that you will bring bring that back to remembrance and remind them who they are in the way that heaven says about them amen amen we didn't even get started yet the scripture says in first corinthians 12 1 through 11 now concerning spiritual gifts, these are the gifts from the Holy Spirit. Brothers, I do not want you to be uninformed. <laughs> mm. Mm. I need you to know, mm -hmm. that's what he said. You know that when you were pagans, you were led astray to mute mm. idols, however you were led. Mm. Therefore, I want you to understand that no one speaking in the spirit of God ever says Jesus is a curse. And no one can say Jesus is Lord except in the Holy Spirit. Thank you for that Holy Spirit, for reminding us. It is him doing this. It is him leading. Amen. Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same spirit. And there are varieties of service, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it's the same God who empowers them all in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the spirit. Why? For the common good. For mm. to one is given through the spirit, the utterance of wisdom, and mm. to another, the utterance of knowledge, according to the same spirit, to another mm. faith by the same spirit, to another gifts of healing by the one spirit, mm. to another working of miracles, to another prophecy, to another, the ability to distinguish be between spirits, to another various kinds of tongues, to another, the interpretation of tongues. All these are empowered by one and the same spirit who apportions to each one individually as he wills it. You see, this isn't something you can buy off the street. <laughs> Don't be confused. It comes from the Holy Spirit. You might be imparted from a man. Amen. You might, you might have a, 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 a someone who is a, a prophetic person in part. You might have met someone with the gift of healing in part, but don't be fooled. It comes from the Holy Spirit. That mm -hmm. is the only way. It is only him. He, there is no other way. So I pray tonight that you will even understand whatever might have been said about you in the past. Anyone who's told you that you have no access, anyone's told you that you've had to buy your way into this or you're, or, or you're, not, you're, not, you're not the right person for it. Don't be fooled because it is the Holy Spirit who apportions it according to each one as he wills it. So as we go into prayer tonight, we're going to be praying over over the gifts of the spirit. And we're going to start with 1 Corinthians 12, 4. It talks about the varieties of gifts. And we're just going to honor him because it's the same spirit, the varieties of service, the same Lord. And here we recognize that it is the same spirit. It is the same Lord. It is the same Holy Spirit. It's the same God who is empowering us. So we're going to call on him first and just thank him that it is him. It's the same Holy Spirit that gives us the varieties of gifts. He gives us all these gifts. He gives us everything. It's the same Holy 
Holy Spirit. We're just going to recognize who he is. That's what we're going to do because it's the same God who empowers it all in every one of us. So just, we just start there. So mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, I just recognize you. I honor you. I thank you. I love you. I adore you. I worship you. I know with all my heart, I know with all my being, I know with my full spirit that everything everything I have. It is impossible to do what I'm doing without you. It is nothing but you, Holy Spirit. Uh, as we come before you as vessels, we ask that it is your anointing. It is your appointing. It is it's not us. It's not man. It's not us declaring that we deserve an office. It's not us declaring that we deserve this gift. It is you giving it to us according to your will for us. It, it is your, it, that is what we want to line up with. It is you empowering us. It is not not us, Lord God. There ain't no magic. There's not a trick. It is just the power of the Holy Spirit. And more than anything, more than any gift, more than any talent, oh God, what we want is your mm -hmm. holy presence. What we want is more of you, Holy Spirit. What we want is a relationship with you. What we want is to come to know you, is to experience you, is to live life with you. What we want more than anything, Holy Spirit, is for you to teach us, is for you to save us, is for you to help us, is for you to counsel us and coach us, direct us and guide us. That's what we want more than anything. And we recognize you and we honor you. You see, there's so many people who don't understand that the Holy Spirit himself is God. And so they'll pray to Jesus and they'll pray to the Father and they'll forget about the Holy Spirit. But he mm. is here. He is with mm. us here in this land, in this plane. He is your day to day. He's your tap in. He's your operations person. He's your boss. He's your friend. He is who you go to every day. Amen. I thank you, Lord Jesus, because the sacrifice you made, but it's your spirit that you have left here for us. And I thank you because that is who empowers us. And I thank you, Lord, for the grace that comes with that, the increasing grace. So Holy Spirit, we thank you. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for your words and your touch. We thank you at night. We thank you in the morning. Oh, we thank you in troubles. We thank you in when everything is going well. We thank you in lack. We thank you for your presence. We love you, Holy Spirit. I thank you that you are in this tent. It is you moving. It is you who directs the angels. It is you who directs the ones that come to help us. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for being active in our lives. It's you that teaches how to pray. It's you that activates the prayers. It is you that brings the words back. Oh, thank you. Every time you say a song dropped in your spirit, he said, that's me. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit, for dropping and bringing things back to our remembrance when we are on our knees, when we don't know what to pray. Holy Spirit, we thank you because that is you and we honor you and we thank you because all of these gifts come from you according to how you apportions it, according to what you see fit for us. And we receive you, Holy Spirit. Oh, we thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. You are my friend. You are my friend at night. You are my friend at day. Oh, I love you so much, Holy Spirit. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Oh, I thank you. Oh, gentle Holy Spirit. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. So now, 1 Corinthians 12, 7 through 9, we talk about the manifestation of the Spirit. <laughs> right? This is when it, it comes to life, if you will, where we see it. Where he, we see it, where we see it. To each is given the manifestation of the spirit for the common good. He said, when you see me, it's for common good. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. When you see me, manifestation of the spirit for the common good. It's for to one is given through the spirit of utterance, of wisdom. And then it talks about knowledge. And according to the same spirit, it talks about Faith is the same spirit and other gifts of healing by the one spirit. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to pray to the Holy Spirit. We're going to thank him for the spirit of wisdom and utterance. We're going to thank him for the utterance of knowledge. We're just receiving the gifts that he's handed to us. We're receiving it. You understand? He's given us the gift. We're receiving it. We we we've, we've been given the gift because of what Jesus Christ did. Amen. And so now we're receiving 
gifts from the Holy Spirit. You got to receive it. Amen. So now we're just going to receive it. Pray that over yourself. So Father, I thank you for your manifestation because you are the common good. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for who you are. And now as you have given us the spirit, the utterance of wisdom, I thank you that you've given the utterance of knowledge. I thank you that you have given us through faith, other gifts of healing. So for the gifts of wisdom and knowledge and healing by the one spirit, the Holy Spirit, we receive these gifts now onto ourselves. Mm -hmm. Father, I pray that you will Father, I ask that you will pour out now your all-consuming fire on every person under the sound of my voice, Lord God. Let that fire burn in their bellies, Lord God. Flame on, turn up the fire, Lord God, and let it burn so bright that demons flee, Lord God. The fire that's in their bellies, those who have been graced with healing, those who have been graced with wisdom, those who have been graced with knowledge, that you will turn on that fire like God. I thank you, Lord God, for those who have been gifted in these areas, that you will pour out that fire on them now, Lord God. Let them do it also. Those who have been waiting for a baptism in the spirit, feel it tonight, Lord God. I thank you, Lord Jesus that in our prayer as we call out to you we receive everything that you have for us holy spirit i receive every gift that you have for me lord god i yes. receive the gift of wisdom come on pray that for yourself i receive the gift of knowledge i receive the gift of healing it is all by the same spirit we're aligned with the holy spirit i thank you that we're aligned with the manifestation of the spirit for the common good you got to know how to use this word. Pray the word over your lives. This is prophetic for you. Amen. It's what the word says about you from, from heaven to you. So you've got to be able to speak these words over your lives to open some things so you can fight. You understand? So I thank you, Lord God, for wisdom. I thank you that you are increasing the utterance of wisdom out of my mouth that you're increasing the utterance of knowledge according to the same Holy Spirit. I thank you that my faith is being built up. I thank you, Jesus, for the gift of healing, the gift of healing through my hands, the gift of healing through my mouth, even thank you Jesus for what you are doing I receive I receive I receive I thank you Lord. yes I receive I receive I receive thank you Lord God that any word that comes out of my mouth will be wise words thank you Lord God that anything that comes out of our mouth will be filled with knowledge that we'll have access and insight to what the word of God says the word not just scripture the word not just scripture the word not just scripture. Amen. I thank you, Lord God, that you reveal your word, your mysteries concerning our lives so that we know how to fight for our families through prayer. Give us the mysteries of our lives, Lord God, so we can be in alignment with what heaven has for us. We want to be about kingdom business, Lord God. We know that all things are working together for our good. We know that if we keep our eyes on you, everything else will fall into place. So, Lord God, we're ready for a shift. We're ready for mercy. We're ready for grace we're ready for blessings but we want to have this wisdom lord god we need your wisdom and your knowledge we need thank you for healing lord god thank you for healing lord god thank you for healing thank you for healing lord god Thank you for healing broken hearts, Lord God. Thank you for healing broken hearts and disappointment, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for giving us a refill, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for hearing our prayers, Lord God, for answering, Lord God, and giving us direction. We know that is you, Holy Spirit. Oh, Holy Spirit, thank you for showing up in dreams. Thank you for showing up in visions. Thank you, Lord God, for in circumstances, even in your word you're directing. Oh, this kind of love makes no sense. That's why we know it's you, God. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for what you are doing. We are all aligned to the one true Holy Spirit. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Oh, I thank you, Lord God, that you're upon us, that we are in your tent. Oh, we are seated with the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Oh, my problems don't mean nothing now because I'm with the Lord Jesus. You can't tell me nothing now because my Abba's got my back. You got to understand who he is. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for speaking to us. So many times we've, we've missed you. We've missed you. We've missed your voice. Oh, Lord, I ask that you will quiet our spirit so we can hear you. Oh, so we can hear your sweet voice. Oh, Lord God. 
Oh, Lord God. Oh, Lord God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for what you are doing. Removing the gates. Oh, mm -hmm. God destroying the portals that we have opened, Lord God, that we were never meant to. Shut the doors that we were never meant to open. Oh God, I ask that you would just give us the kind of breakthrough in our lives so we'll be witnesses of your miracle, Lord God. We look for miracles and breakthrough this hour. We ask for that in every family represented, Lord God. You know what they stand in need of, Lord God, but oh God, would you empower us now boldly? Oh God, would you empower us, Holy spirit it is your power in us turned up would you empower us so that we can do even greater things as the word says that's mm -hmm. what the lord says that we would be doing even greater things after he had left this earth lord would you turn that on now in us we mm -hmm. want to be a people who are, who are activated to do greater things in this world we mm -hmm. know we need the gifts of the holy spirit to do that we cannot do that without you so lord god would you pour out your gifts Lord god and bring it back to memory bring it to their remembrance or God and every lie that has been told that any corrupt mm -hmm. tongue that against the gift that you gave them, any measure of confusion, any theft, any lie, any demonic activity, any witchcraft, anything that was set apart that by the enemy, anything that was stood up against them to, to hide their gifts from them, anything that was sent to confuse them so that they will be off track, anything, Lord God, that stands like that by the blood of Jesus Christ is canceled right now. I thank you, Lord God, for deliverance, the kind of deliverance that opens the doors of heaven for us so we can operate in the gift God gave us amen mm. unapologetically bold amen walking boldly in christ mm. amen boasting about who we are in him amen i can boast about the holy spirit because i know him amen father give them the kind of grace that they get they come to know you lord god not just when things are going wrong lord yes. god oh, yes. i thank you lord god for your supernatural work tonight i feel my hands on fire i thank you jesus for your healing power on broken power Thank you, Jesus. Father, for those who've never come to understand the Holy Spirit, mm. for those who don't understand who will, ah, yeah. would you yes. just speak to them? Would you just release? Would you show them who mm. you are? Oh, their hearts are ready, Holy Spirit. Would you show them who you are? Would you show them who you are? You see, I know that you're not, it's not just, oh, you're a gentleman. I know, Holy Spirit, you fought for me. Mm. I know when you've been a warrior for me. I know when you've destroyed things for me. Oh, I know you're kind. I know you don't force yourself, but I know when you've destroyed things, Lord God. I know I've seen you at war, Holy Spirit. I've seen you release, Lord God. I've seen you do these things. And now I look at us. I thank you, Rokorosa. I thank you, Holy Spirit, that you will do this for us because of the love, because of the promise of the Father. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It is you that commands the angels to work with us. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It is him that sends them. You see, when you have a relationship with the Holy Spirit, he intervenes, he sends them. Amen. I thank you, Lord. I thank you for reminding us of who you are. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit, for your love. Oh, God. The last verse says, all these are empowered. Mm -hmm. and all of us, we're all empowered by the one spirit, the same. Oh, God. So now we're just going to pray, Lord. I thank you for empowering every person under the sound of my voice. I thank you for empowering every person under the sound of my voice with the gifts that you have given them, uh, that you will restore to them the gifts, Lord God. Father, forgive us if we have wasted your gifts, if we have wasted your time. He said, I've given you ideas and you've done nothing with it. <laughs> Come on now. I've given you ideas and you've done nothing Thank with you. it. I've given you ideas and you've done nothing with it. Oh, can I say the ear? It's time for you to wake up. Amen. It's time for you to get up. That was your gift. It, uh, can I say, he, see, he'll give you ideas. He'll give you these gifts, but you've got to do something with it. You can't just sit by and wait. Amen. So I thank you, Lord, that you have empowered every single person under the sound of my voice. I thank you for even those who are watching the replay. You're catching it right now. Amen. Mm -hmm. It is the 
the spirit that has empowered us. It's mm. not something we've done on our own. It's mm. not something you can buy. It's mm. not something that somebody can give you. It comes from the Holy Spirit. It mm. increases over yes. time, yes. grace and faith. And I thank you that you have empowered us. You've empowered us. You've empowered us. You have given us the utterance of wisdom, thank the you. utterance of knowledge. You have given us these gifts of healing. I thank you, Lord God, for what you have done tonight. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. We've got a few ladies that we're going to pray over. They all happen to be in my family. Mm -hmm. And uh, again, I'm not, I don't, I'm not asking. I'm just going to release it. But the word for them came on the contrary. Mm -hmm. The parts of the body that seem to be weaker are indispensable. <laughs> and on those parts of the body, we think less honorable. We bestow the greater honor. Mm -hmm. And on our unpresentable parts, are treated with greater modesty, mm -hmm. which our more presentable parts do not require. See, the thing the thing I'll tell you about these three women right now is Ernestine is Jennifer's mother and Mishi is Jennifer's daughter-in-law. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's, all, that's all I'm gonna say. Mm -hmm. And I thank you, Lord God, that the parts of this body, this unit, this family that wow. seem to be weaker mm. is indispensable in your eyes. Yes. Mm. I thank you, Lord God, that you're bestowing greater honor. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. The word says, but God has so composed the body, giving greater honor to the part that lacked it. So this mm. is about honor. Yes. That there may be no division in the body. This is one mm. family. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. But that the members may have the same, oh my God, same care for one. Y'all mm -hmm. ain't watching. I, I mm. can't see this in the room. <laughs> but I don't want to see this, Lord. But mm. that the members may have the same care for one another. Mm. And if one member suffers, all suffer mm -hmm. together. If one member is honored, all rejoice together. This is a family unit. This is a family unit. This is generational right here. Mm -hmm. Father, as, as you presented these three women, first, Lord, veil my eyes so I see nothing personal. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Veil my eyes so yes. I see nothing personal, Lord God. Mm -hmm. Let my prayer be pure, Holy Spirit, that when I praise only what you say and not what I yes. want. So that your will is done and not my will, God. Oh, God. Jesus. So, Lord God, as your words say, I pray that honor equally is bestowed across every single woman represented, that none of these women will feel less honored, that none of them will feel unpresentable, that they will have the same care for each other. Father God, if there is a gap, if there's anything that, that causes a rift, anything that causes any one of these women to feel dishonored, that you will heal this family tonight. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you that the word says, if one member is honored, all rejoice together. So Father, we're going to stand in agreement with what your word says, and we're going to rejoice together. And we're going to honor every single family represented. Father, your word says, if one member suffers, all suffer together. So we bind ourselves up, Lord God, as a praying ministry, as we intercede, as we are intercessors for this family. We're binding ourselves to this family, Lord God. If they, if one suffers, we all suffer. If one is honored, we all rejoice together. So we pray now, Lord God, if there's anything that is standing, anything that has been stood up to disrupt or destroy anything, honor within these women Jesus. in this family that is shut down now. Anything, Lord God, that the enemy had plotted and planned to disrupt or destroy honor with these two women in this world right now. If there's any one of these women who feel less honored, Lord God, like, can I say that you will restore the honor back to them, Lord God. Equally your daughters, he says. He says, equally my daughters, equally my daughters, equally my daughters. This is generational. Equally my daughters, equally my daughters. And this is a message for women older women mm. young women he says equally my daughters equually my daughters equally my daughters so father we honor every single generation yes. Lord God. Yes. thank you god yes. mm. thank you god we give great honor to anyone who lacked it that there be no division in the body of this family mm. Thank you for healing, Lord God. Father, I pray for every family represented in the same way that you're blessing this family. 
that yeah. you will bless them too. Yeah, mm -hmm. Any mm -hmm. mother, daughter, mother-in-law, you know, any of those relationships <laughs> represented, Lord God, would you come into that now, Lord God, so that you will you'll just do an overflow in the same way that you're blessing the three yeah. represented. You'll bless anyone who is in this family setup, Lord God. Yes, Father God. So there's no greater honor to mm -hmm. one part. There is no division in mm -hmm. any family represented, any mm -hmm. family aligned to this prayer ministry, anyone, anyone at all. There is no division in that body. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, for showing us that we've got to care for each other the same. Yes. It's not related to age, it's honor. And God honors us differently. Mm -hmm. See, he might see a busted, broken vessel like me and somebody else might see it and say, you have no honor. And God says, that's not true. Yes. Yes. Amen. So I thank you, Lord. I thank you for restoring honor. I, I thank you. For, I thank you for putting a, a spiritual band-aid, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Lord. And covering yes. my eyes so I don't see. Yeah. I don't, I don't Thank see. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for that. Amen. 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 All right. We're going to go right into declaration. Mm -hmm. I declare mm -hmm. this day that no weapon formed against me can prosper because I am the righteousness of God. Favor surrounds me as a shield. Divine protection surrounds me as a shield. I am therefore in the right place at the right time. I cannot be defeated or destroyed. In fact, every tongue that accuses me, every tongue that attacks me, I condemn with my words. This is my heritage. This is my right as a child of God, made in his image. Made with his dominion and authority living in me, coming forth out of my spirit through my word. I declare today that Satan has no power over my life, that every weapon he has has been defeated, that fear is cast out, that love makes my faith work, and therefore I cannot fail. God's word cannot fail, and that's what I'm made of. His word made in his image, after his likeness, with the power a, of the Holy Spirit and authority of his word. Therefore, by the blood of Jesus, I dwell in the secret place of the Most High. I abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I say of the Lord, you are my refuge and my fortress. My God, in you I will Oh, I thank you, Lord, for what the word says about us. I thank you for what the word says about us. This is what you say about us, and we receive it all to ourselves. We thank you for blessing us tonight, Lord God, and reminding us of how heaven sees us. We thank you, Lord God, that favor surrounds us as a shield. We thank you that we can't be defeated or destroyed. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord, for reminding us that is the power of the Holy Spirit and the authority of his word. It says we can't fail. God's word cannot fail, and we can't fail either. I thank you that we are survivors and overcomers. I thank you, God, that everything the enemy had, every plan he had is destroyed as shut down, that he can't even locate us. Uh, Father, I ask that you even wrap a veil and a banner around us. A banner, as your word says, Lord God, your word says this in Psalm concerning us, Lord God, that you will throw a banner around us. So we call now on that word and we bring that back to you, Holy Spirit, that you wrap us and cover us with this banner, Lord God, so the, the enemy doesn't, he doesn't even see us. We're veiled and protected. We are undercover, if you will. I thank you, Lord God, for your cloak of grace. I I thank you for your cloak of mercy. I thank you, Lord God, for what you have done for us. I thank you for ushering us into our gifts. I thank you for blessing us, Lord God. I thank you for showing up, Holy Spirit. I thank you for healing us and delivering us. I thank you for shutting down every lie that was told. I thank you for, for blessing our lives and our children, everything, everyone who is connected to us. Lord, that let them feel your favor. Let them feel it, hear it, smell it, touch it. Let it be real and tangible to them. For those who have never experienced you, Holy Spirit, oh, I pray that there'll be a mighty rush. I pray yes. that you'll meet him in your dreams. You'll meet him on the daytime. You'll meet him at night. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you'll interrupt their thoughts. I pray yes, that, you, that you show up as a warrior. You see, they've been waiting for you. They've been waiting for you, Holy Spirit. I ask that you will pour out now. I thank you that you will just pour out now, pour out now, pour out now. Let them experience you in a different way. Oh, if your heart is open, he will come in. Amen. You see, when people say that the Holy Spirit is a gentleman, it means that he's just not going to bust up and show up. you got to invite him in. But oh my God, don't you know he will stay? There's nothing I can do to get rid of this Holy Spirit. You understand? Understand? I just increase in him every day. 
I thank you, Holy Spirit, for not leaving us when we were in trouble. I thank you for not leaving us when we made a mess. I thank you for forgiving us of our sins. Oh, I thank you, Holy Spirit. I thank you. I thank you for being by our sides. We thank you for being our helper, our comforter, our friend. I thank you for the gifts that you have released to your daughters, you released to your sons, so they can carry out the assignments that you gave them, Lord God. Thank you for what you have done tonight for families, for healing, for breakthrough and deliverance. Oh, I thank you. This is just the beginning as he keeps revealing things about your gifts to you over time. You've got to meet him in the word of God so he can show you how to how to work this thing out. You've got to understand how to pray through the word with scriptures. And don't you know you activate things with your mouth? So you got to be careful what you say. No longer declaring that you don't know what your gift is. You have already received it. He has already Thank given it you. to you. You can't say what well, you don't know what your gift is. He's oh, already given it to you. You've received it. Oh, I thank you, Jesus, that you've made it plain to them today that you have the gift of wisdom. You have the gift of knowledge and the gift of healing. Some of you yes. might be healing with your hands. Some of you might be healing with your words. That's why I got to be careful what you say. I thank you, Lord God, that it's not about the office anymore. It's about the gift the gifts of grace. I thank you, Jesus, that there'll be such a testimony. I thank you that they're going to be wilding out on these streets, Lord God, with the gifts you give given them. I thank you that you're yes. bringing souls back. Yes. I thank you that there'll be testimony and fire in their bones. Oh, yes. thank you, Jesus, that you poured your oil on the dry bones and y'all are woke up. I thank you, Lord God. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for what you have done. For those, Lord God, who have who are learning how to receive a yes. baptism through tongue, Lord God, that you will help them through the interpretation of tongue, Lord God. Lord God, that you will even teach them how to pray in tongues. Lord God, for those who have been, who've been tied up in religion, where religion told you that tongues wasn't real, it's a lie. You've got to know your heavenly language. You see, because there's some things that only the Holy Spirit can pray for me. And there's only some things that only God needs to hear. The enemy can't understand your heavenly language. That's why he wants to confuse you and tell you it's not real. Yes, because once yes, you understand yes. how to understand that key, you can't look yes. back. So I thank you, God, that you'll pour out your that you pour out your spirit on your daughters and sons, that they will pray in the spirit. Oh, and break down every wall that was up, every wall in your mind that told you you couldn't do it. It's a lie. All you've got to do is let the spirit take lead. Hey, thank you, Holy Spirit. Let him take lead. Let him take lead. I thank you, Lord God, for what you have done tonight. I thank you for showing up as you always do. I thank you for reminding us that there is one Holy Spirit. And as yes. long as I live, the Spirit of the Lord yes. is upon me. As long as I live, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. You got to be able to pray that for yourself. As long as I live, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. I thank you that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Every time you face a challenge, you say the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Amen. I thank you, Lord, that you are released. I thank you for the ones that you've sent to help us. I thank you for the holy ones that you've sent to help us. I thank you, Lord, for the holy ones that you've dispatched in this hour to help us. I thank you, Lord God, that they have brought the wisdom and the knowledge. I thank you for the holy ones that you have released unto us, Holy Spirit, that you have dispatched help. I thank you for heaven's help. I thank you for a life-changing interaction, encounter. Thank you, Jesus, that you have done this for us. It's because you love us. Oh, we are in different times. These aren't the 90s. There's a different time. This is a whole different landscape. Heaven has shifted its game, if you will. And you've got to come into the kingdom a little bit different. you got to be bold because the enemy is bold. You can't be weak and tired anymore. You have the gift. Oh, all you have to do is to... Tap into the Holy Spirit so he can activate it in you. You see, it is him working it through you. It's not by our power. It's not by, it's by the power of the Holy Spirit in you, through you. That's how it's working. That's what happens. Amen. And so when you allow the Holy Spirit to rule through you, so he will, oh my God, come on now. That's what happens. Amen. We thank you, Holy Spirit. For reminding us and teaching us and counseling us that it is you, it is you, it is all you, it's all you, it's all you, it's all you. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Glory, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah, glory, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We're just going to receive this quick declaration. Mark 11, I always say, as I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, you got to believe you receive it, and it will be yours. If you don't believe it, you ain't going to receive it. <laughs> it's going to be stuck in your head. You're going to be back on another prayer call. You're going to join 47 more prayer calls and make no changes. You've got to believe what you have asked for him. So you've asked him to release your gifts onto you. you got to believe that he did. He's already done it. So you've got to receive it. You've got to believe it. You've got to receive it. And it, it will be yours. Amen. No one can take it from you. Amen. Nobody can take the gifts he gives you. So now we're just going to give a minute just praise god we just pray you know i love you thank you so much you are so amazing thank you for showing up thank you for showing up thank you for teaching we praise you we honor you the rocks listen the rocks might not cry out but i will i thank you jesus i thank you lord god thank you lord god i thank you lord god he's telling me to read something hold on let me see what it praise i got it Praise, okay, praise. Thank you. Yes, I don't. Praise. This is Psalm 150. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with trumpet sound. Praise him with flute and harp. Praise him with tambourine and dance. Praise him with strings and pipe. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Praise him with loud clashing cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He just told me, go read that. That's how we seal this prayer tonight. We thank you. We praise the Lord. Amen. You know, when we praise the Lord, heaven is singing. Amen. Ephesians 3.20, now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think, <laughs> according to the power at work within us, amen, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever, amen. And if you didn't hear your prayer, if you didn't, if you had a special prayer tonight and you're wondering, when are you going to pray for my bills? When are you going to pray for my health? When are you going to pray for my friends? I'm going to tell you, it's already sealed, it's already done. You have the gift to do that you understand all you got to do is believe that prayer in your heart and receive it he's already heard it i thank you jesus for reminding us he said don't worry about it i don't have to call it out <laughs> you just got to believe it in your heart and receive it you got to believe it in your heart and receive it the word says according to the power at work within us what's the power at work within you what is the power at work within you? What is the power at work within you? He's able to do all. He's able to do far more than you can ever ask. But what is the power at work within you? Is it worry? Is it doubt? Is it fretting? Huh? Is it gossip? What is it? What is that power at work within you? I tell you, the power at work within me is the Holy Spirit. That's all I got. That's how I know. Because I've seen him do some things. I've watched him move mountains. I've watched him save lives. I've seen the miracles. Amen. And I know, I know like breath. I know like salt. I know like air. I know like I'm touching my skin. I know with every fiber of my being. I know with my spirit. I know with all my gifts. I know who it is that's at work within me. And it's only the Holy Spirit. It's nothing but the Spirit of the Lord. It's nothing but Jesus Christ. It's not something you earn. Oh, I thank you, Jesus. It's nothing but the power of the Holy Spirit. It's not something anyone can take from you. Um, that's why we are connected. Amen. I thank you, Holy Spirit, for what you are doing, that you're great move Lord God I thank you that we are tapped into a greater body amen we are tapped in. we're not doing this by ourselves y'all I thank you Holy Spirit but there's just one oh I thank you Lord that's why there's confirmations that don't make no sense that's why you can show up and someone say oh so and so and so and so and you realize there's a connection it's because it's one spirit doing all these things so you gotta lean back into the Holy Spirit when you start realizing all these confirmations are coming then you start realizing oh i'm a part of the game yeah I, i'm on the field yes right yeah. that's how you start understanding he starts to show you he starts to reveal you this is how you're connected in amen you're not here by chance you're here because he chose you to be here every single person who listens every single person who 
who shows up. And whether you are here live or you're catching a replay 10 years from now, it's because the Holy Spirit sent you. He doesn't send me to waste people's time. He doesn't just tell me to show up and speak. So this word is coming at you. It's for you for a reason, a season, and a lifetime. And I thank you. And I dare you to trust God. I dare you to believe in the Holy Spirit. I dare you to trust God. I dare you to work these gifts. I dare you to work these talents. I dare you to finish the products and projects that he gave you. I dare you to start running through those ideas he i dare you to do it i absolutely dare mm -hmm. you because again to him be glory forever mm -hmm. and ever i will praise him the rest of my days hallelujah mm -hmm. fire is caught mm -hmm. up in my belly i can't mm -hmm. stop praising him mm -hmm. i am no longer here i thank you jesus i thank you lord for what you have already done if only they know if only they saw you oh see he's more than a gentleman he's fire mm -hmm. oh i thank you Thank you, Lord God. He's not a Santa Claus. He's fire. The Holy Spirit is fire. He is fire. He is fire. Oh, you got to understand who you're dealing with. He's not a pet. Come on now. He's not a weak man. Oh, come on. The Holy Spirit is fire. He will shake things. He will shake things. You know he was there in the beginning. He'll be there in the end. I'm preaching tonight for the Holy Spirit. I'm preaching yeah. on behalf of my friend. Amen. Yeah. I'm representing him. He's on fire in me. And yeah. he just needs to let you know. You got to recognize who he is. Oh, God, he's a fighter. He's a warrior. He's the one. He's the spirit of the Lord. He is with us. He was there in the beginning. He'll be there in the end. He's with you now. He was with you yesterday. He was with you when you were in pain. He was with you when you were in joy. You've got to understand the Holy Spirit. And you've got to, oh my God, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everything that you say. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for Thank reinforcing, you. reminding Thank us yes. oh, of just who he is. Oh, oh my God. He's more than rushing waters. He's more than the winds. Thank you, Lord. He's more. He's more than all of that. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh, God. He is the healer. Hallelujah. He is the breath. Yes, God. He is. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. He is the fire. The fire. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you for your visions. Thank you for sight. Thank you. Thank you for my gifts. Lord, let them all be put to use for your kingdom only. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. All right, let me. Stop sharing. Thank you. Stop recording.